This is National Geographic Today and the continuing story of life. Up in the third, but it is a plane, a newfangled flyer keeping an eye on wild places with or without a pilot. That story is just ahead on National Geographic Today that information is power, especially in times of crisis and war, but how do you get up close and personal intelligence without risking people's lives? The answer takes wing in a quiet, nearly undetectable plane, a plane that can fly with or without a pilot. From California, Robert Kovacic introduces us to the GT-500. Sunsets in Southern California. It's a must-see here in La Jolla. But when it comes to really looking at the world, there's a lot more than meets the eye. Physical and environmental scientist Richard McCrate is putting the world under a microscope. These photos were not taken by a satellite in space, but by pilot McCrate in his amazing flying machine. Normally we're not seeing our radar. That means that this is basically a, a stealth aircraft. We have something that can run off automobile gasoline and allows us to carry a whole assortment of instruments. Lightweight, inexpensive, and born out of NASA, the GT500 is a near-Earth observation system. Richard McCrate has been flying it since the aircraft was first developed 15 years ago. Actually, Richard doesn't need to be in the cockpit. This plane can be flown without a pilot. This would be like a scouting or a reconnaissance flight where you're able to strictly go out and identify, often by visual interpretation of the photograph, certain types of patterns or conditions that give you information about activity on the ground. And we're covering the ground at 60 miles an hour capturing information that's down to a foot in resolution so that you can start to create a lot of information very quickly. Information created with a variety of sensors, including thermal and infrared, plus time mapping and multi-spectrum cameras. You know, when you get out there, you feel like you're um, a small point on the map. But down on the ground, the results yield pinpoint accuracy. The picture was taken from about a half mile away. You can see easily enough to count the individual uh, antelope that are running across the range. This kind of up close and personal surveillance could stretch beyond wildlife and the environment. Maybe something that we can further develop in the future that would be useful for border patrol, search and rescue, terrorists of warfare and so forth. Richard McCrate envisions that one day, silent and undetectable GT500s could fill the sky like a swarm of mosquitoes. For now, just a few are airborne, monitoring Earth's daily changes, leaving us to sit back and enjoy the view. You know, the U.S. military is currently using unmanned aircraft in Afghanistan, a spy plane there called the Predator. Today, the Pentagon confirmed that one of those planes crashed in some bad weather over there. Well, just